All right, so while testing in the last video, I found something kind of interesting. That is a bug that is relatively common that you might have that I'm gonna show you how to resolve. So basically it's just a setup issue. So when I aim, as you can see, it's pushing the gun back. And this is usually after enabling or setting up the firearm collision. So what might be causing that? And this kind of goes for moving forward and stuff too. So if we look at the M4, well, basically what we can kind of look through and see is let's go to the part. So I already know which part this is, at least I'm pretty sure. But basically what you're going to want to do is make sure each of these parts that you add to the firearm are not going to block the firearm collision. So let's start with the light laser and work our way up. So we go to our light laser blueprint, grab our static mesh. So that'll be this. Whoops, did not move it. That'll be son of a gun. There we go. That'll be this guy. Scroll down to collision, and as you can see, it's set to block all dynamic. So it is blocking firearm collision. So we just set this to custom and ignore the firearm collision. So once we do that, let's just keep moving our way up. So we're not actually using the forward grip, so I don't really care for it. So we'll use the muzzle, which is most likely the culprit here, and do the same thing. So we set it to custom and ignore the firearm collision. And we move up to the sight. And that's going to be, oops, let me open that on up. Go down to the collision for the static mesh and set it to ignore firearm collision. Compile and save. And now let's try it. So we aim. And as you can see, now it is good to go. So that pretty much wraps that up. I just wanted to cover that as that's something that can be quite annoying, but it's a relatively simple fix. You just got to make sure the collision is not set to block it because otherwise it is going to block your own collision. So I will see you in the next video.